Okay, it's time for another product review. This time it is for a USB desktop fan. <coughs> this product came from banggood.com. There will be a link in the video description as always. So let's see what we get in the box. We've got the USB fan itself which has got a kind of flexible snake type stem. USB plug on the end and a little push switch on there. We've got a mini USB cable, it looks like a mini USB cable actually but I think that might be a proprietary connector on the end there. And we've got a driver disc. Now the reason we've got a driver disc is that this fan has got a row of LEDs in it there and it's programmable so that we can show patterns and messages on there. So I'm going to install that on my PC and we'll see what this fan is capable of. Before I actually install any of the software, let's just have a quick look and see what this thing does by default. So I just plug that in there. I'll just zoom in like that. Okay. I love you. Oh how how wonderful. A little bit jumpy, but the effect is actually really quite good. Anyway, we'll install the software now and then we'll see what happens. You can't program this th through the USB connector there, you have to use this special cable. So, to plug that into a different USB port. And then that goes into a little socket that's just in the side of the fan head there. Bit a bit unusual. But it just means also you can't program it on the fly. It has to be turned off, powered down, and plugged in. Okay, a light comes on, presumably just tell me it's connected. So let's see what happens when we go into program. I've had a play with this software for programming the fan and it is reasonably primitive but you can actually add multiple messages to the fan and you've got this designer screen here where you can actually you can draw graphics directly onto a grid or you can load a bitmap and it will load something in like that and express it onto the grid or you can input text. So, and move the text around to make it readable. On the device. So, there we go. And then you just press a button and it downloads it directly to the fan. So then when we turn it on it will cycle through all of the messages we've programmed on there. a little bit jerky actually some of the time which is a tiny bit of a shame I think what we might do is power that up in the dark and see what that looks like in, in the complete darkness okay let's have a look and see what that looks like in the dark
Okay, so the programmable LED fan, the conclusion. The software itself is really basic and a bit clunky, but does the job. The fan is... it's okay. Um, it's a little bit limited in what you can do with it. It's a bit of a shame you can't program it directly through the USB cable while it's running. So that means you can't dynamically change the content, you have to switch it off and plug that in. So if you've seen a picture of this with a clock on it, obviously it can't display a dynamic clock because it can't be programmed on the fly. Uh, all in all, it's a fun little device, it's quite interesting to play with. Uh, not sure it's really of much use for anything. As a fan actually, it doesn't really, it doesn't really blow very much air. The, the little funny the little blades there are just pretty feeble and pathetic really. But to be honest, it's a gimmick, it's not really intended as a fan, it's more of a gimmick just to, to show, some, show off a LED lighting effect. So there we go, the programmable LED fan from banggood.com. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of the same, why not click here to subscribe? Alternatively, click here to visit my channel. Or you could click here to visit the Atomic Shrimp website.